In this video, I'm going to show you five ways that you can customize the Windows 11 start menu. The start menu is something that can be extremely useful, but most of the times it's just filled with random apps and recommendations because you haven't customized it yet. So in this video, I'll show you how to customize it and use the start menu effectively. So let's get started. The first thing that you should do is change the layout. So now I'll just open the start menu. You can click on this icon over here or else the windows icon on your keyboard. After that, just right click anywhere over here and then click on start settings. And on top over here, you have three layout options. So you can decide if you want to see more pinned apps or more recommendations, which are just files that you use often. So this depends on your personal choice, but I prefer having more pinned apps rather than recommendations. And now if I just open the start menu, you can see that the recommendations have reduced and now I can add more pinned apps over here. After that, they have a couple of more settings that are related to apps. So first is if you want to show the recently added apps. So if you've installed a certain app, then it'll automatically get added to the start menu. After that, you can decide if you want to show the most used apps. Again, this is up to you. One thing that people usually don't do is change the pinned apps. So as you can see, Windows pins a lot of Microsoft apps over here and it's extremely easy to unpin them. All you've got to do is just right click on it and click on unpin. And the same way you can unpin more apps that you don't want. But if you want to pin an app, just click on all apps over here. So let's say I want to pin OBS Studio. This written over here. I'll again right click on it and click on pin to start. And if I go back, you can see that it's come at the bottom. But if I want it in the first row, it's extremely simple. Just right click again and then click on move to front. And as you can see, it's the first app over here. So this is one thing which I find really helpful to pin all the apps which I use often and to unpin all the ones that I don't use. Then the third way is to decide if you want to show recently opened items in start, jump lists or file explorer. So currently, as you can see, it's on. And now if I open the start menu, this one document, which I'd opened on Word, is coming under recommended. But now if I just switch this off, you can see that it's gone. Personally, I quite like this setting because it makes it much easier to go to a file that you just closed. Then the next option is folders. So a folder is basically a shortcut that's added next to the power button over here. So normally people just have a power button over here, but using folders, you can add settings, file explorer, pictures, and there are many more options. So I'll show you how it works. So first just click on folders and over here you can select which ones you want to switch on. And now the last setting is changing the color of the start menu. So to do this, just go back to personalization and after that click on colors. Now just select some accent colors. So let's say I want yellow. I'll click on it. And then at the bottom, just click on show accent color on start and taskbar. And here as you can see, it's changed. Now I'll show you a last setting for people who like the start menu and all the apps aligned on the left, like it was in Windows 10. So for this, just right click on the taskbar click on taskbar settings, then scroll down under taskbar behaviors, just select left alignment over here. And now as you can see, if I open the start menu, it's the same way as it was in Windows 10. So these are five ways that you can customize the start menu on your laptop. And if you want to know how to use your phone as a webcam or how to transfer photos and files, from your phone to your laptop, you can check out these videos over here. Goodbye.